What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Cardi, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all boys exactly how to rep up and level up fast. As you can see, I'm already a Superstar 1, almost Superstar 2, I guess that's what it's called. We can go ahead and check here. I am 450th on the whole entire world. Um, you know, I don't think that's too impressive, but I really could have been grinding a lot harder. But, you know, I've been going crazy. I feel like that's pretty high of a rep. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. But I know how to get rep in this game. I've known how to get rep in this game. Um, I've been getting rep since fucking 2K15. So... I know what to do when it comes to rep. I know what to do what to do when it comes to levels. I didn't buy any levels. The only thing I bought was the extra rewards because I feel like they were worth it. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this video. Make sure boys drop like on the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications if you have not already, and comment if you're a new sub so I can say thank you. And let's get right into this banger, boys. Let's go. All right, boys. So now that we're loading into the park, I'm gonna go over some things right now that's gonna make your levels and your rep go faster. Okay. All right, we're gonna go over all the methods. We're gonna go over what you need to do, everything like that. Okay, so obviously off rip, if you care about your season levels or if you care about just getting rewards in general, you need to come and spin your wheel, okay? Cause you're gonna get tokens. Clearly, you're gonna, you can win double rep from this, I think, um, and it stacks, I'm pretty sure. So right now I just got ball handling and passing, but I've seen people get double rep from this wheel. If you get double rep from this wheel, it counts for your season levels and your actual rep, okay? So these little tokens that they give you, I think I have a ton of them, bro. Let's go to season. Yeah, XP coins, look how many tokens I have, bro. I mean, I don't think that these i can even use these anymore like i don't think these they don't give you anything they give you double xp maybe they give you do they give you double xp and what well, they say w xp micro i don't know i don't think they give they don't affect your they don't affect your your like rep they affect your season levels not your rep so i don't really see a point in popping them if you're already level 40 maybe they give you double my point progression i have no idea i really don't know um but let's go over here okay so the first thing you need to do is understand what is going to give you rep now I'm going to show gameplay, I'm going to talk about everything, but at first I want to show you where you need to go, okay? So, first of all, the theater, okay? There is an event out right now in the theater, which is not always going to be out, but it is literally out and it is more than double rep, alright? So, first of all, go always, you need to be always checking, going over here, where is it at? Where is it at? Alright, the city, where is it at, bro? I mean, am I slow, bro? Come on, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Seasons? Alright, season events. Okay, so as you can see, in Strikeout, there's two times, three times, and four times rep. But this event is, you know, um, it's a little... Uh, it's a little hard for y'all boys that aren't that good at the game because basically it's like ba baseball if you get three strikes you're out you can't play anymore so you start off on the two times rep floor if you're i think it's normal rep you start off on the normal rep floor you win you go up to two times rep okay you win you go up to three times rep you win you go up to four times rep but if you lose once you go all the way back down to the bottom okay back down to normal rep and then you have to work your way back back up to four times rep and if you lose three times you're done completely okay you're literally done completely and you will not you will not you will not be able to play this anymore okay so the top reps that are bad at the game for example i have beat this random wizard kid a thousand damn times and he is not good he's number two on the leaderboards this kid will get past mark my words this kid will get past in rep okay all these kids that aren't good on this leaderboard are going to get past in rep because they're gonna have to play the sweats in this strikeout event and they're gonna get dogged out i'm telling you right now so only come in here with a good squad now i already have a squad like specifically for this event because it's hard okay but it's four times rep and look how many you get you need to be playing this okay cage match i don't know what did it but okay compete okay i mean we're gonna be playing the cages holy shit i will not be there but um club 2k that isn't something that you can play without getting kicked out of but strikeout is something you need to do you need to look at your event schedules like always check recent events 2v2 pro -Am, i think this is already over or two times rep pro -Am, this is already over um but you should have been playing this if you have not already um, but this was really kind of pointless because it was two times rep for 3v3 and 5v5 But they came out with this right here. All right, this event right here You need to be playing in the theater double or nothing winners earn two times rep losers get zero And the thing is I think that winners get two times rep and then they also take the other team's rep So you're really getting like three times four times rep because I mean I was getting 0.5% in the superstar one bar And it's normally 0.1% so double rep will be 0.2% So I mean that doesn't really make sense It's like fucking five times rep and even in the pro am I was getting 0 0.3 0 0.4 I was not getting 0.5 and I'm getting 0.5 0.6 every game I think this is the best one if you have a good team come in here and play this but there's a lot of sweats in here I'm be honest there's a lot of sweats nobody's playing the pro am um, Nobody is okay. I'm just gonna be honest with you, but Let's go over another thing, okay? So when this isn't out, because this won't be out forever, this is, expires this Friday. I mean, it's out for a long time. You should be able to get a lot of games in. You want to play this Pro-Am, okay? So there's a new thing that people just came out with, and they were gatekeeping it, and it was just now recently released that this is how it works. 
you come over here to the pro-am you have to win 150 games in your pro-am team it doesn't matter if you're 150 and 2000 you only won 150 games you've lost 2000 it doesn't matter okay you need to i'm pretty sure it doesn't matter i'm not don't hold me to that i'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter because i haven't lost that many games but i'm pretty sure my team let's see what my team is i think i'm on the right i think i'm still on a pro-am team let's see let me see am i not oh yeah i am okay so look our team is 99 and 8 I, I'm on a team with Solo, Jay Curry, Chad, Screens, and me. I've only played 27 games. Um, as you can see, I don't really put up that many points a game. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm mainly a center. I got five rebounds a game, 1.1 steals a game, 0.6 blocks a game. Nobody really is out here snagging shit like me, but that's just, you know what I'm saying? We won't get into that. Um, but yeah, man, here is the, the, the cheat code right here. So as you can see, at team level... Um, at gold, you work your way up to the work your way up the power rankings to unlock rep multipliers. So, at gold level, I think you get like 1.5 times multiplier. But once you get the diamond, you will constantly get two times rep from playing this, and it's like threes and it's matchmaking threes. And so, in my opinion, you have to get 150 wins to get this. And we are 99 and 8. So, I think, in my opinion, this is going to be the best way. Okay, there's a lot of people grinding it, as you can see, and there's going to be a lot of sweats in here. All the top reps, like that TTV original Malik is playing this. GH99 Clan, he is on the top rep. D Moyes is on the top rep. I'm sure there's even more, like Pudo, Ice Grinds, Hellcats, SRTs, Let Us Shoot. I mean, the, the German people. Um, I think that they are also probably some of them in the top rep race. So this is very important to play okay if you're not playing this all the time and you're trying to grind rep then you know but the thing the good thing about this is it's always two times rep if you have 150 wins it's always going to be two times rep but also understand that some people aren't good enough to come in here and play this I, it's just the way it is they're just not i just i mean that's just how it's going to be they're not good enough to come in here and dominate and get 150 wins and keep that record up so that way you don't drop from diamond to platinum to gold to silver back down to bronze I get that, but I think I don't think you can drop. Okay, so games play will be worth an extra 10 rep. That's at silver, 25 rep at gold, 50% at platinum. I mean, two times rep at diamond. Okay, two times rep, 50% more at um, platinum, two times rep at diamond. I at bronze, you don't really get anything. Silver 10 times, gold 25, 50, two times. That's what you need to be working working towards. Okay, that two times rep. Okay, those are the best game modes to play for rep. Obviously, there's going to be park events and stuff like that that you can play. But there's just different things that you need to also be doing if you're wanting to get good rep. Now, obviously, your teammate grade matters. So, I would avoid, if you're really trying to grind rep, avoid lockdowns. Okay, do not play as a lockdown. If you really want to grind rep, I, I don't, I never make lockdowns. It just, I mean, to me, I'll play lockdown in a wager, but to sit here and play lockdown is just insane to me. I don't really understand that. Um, this build can basically play lockdown. The build I'm on right now, I'm just going to go ahead and give y'all free sauce. But look, I got 91 steel, 94 block. People, I mean, I literally, I literally harass people with this build. This build is insane. Um, it's a popper build, but I mean, I still go crazy with this build. I mean, on defense. I literally sometimes have played lock with two poppers and a, and a tall guard. I, or, or even a small guard, I've played lock for, with this build. So, um, I wouldn't necessarily make a pure lock, though. I, centers are so good for rep. Um, so are guards guards get assists. You want to be a guard or a center if you're gonna want to get a lot of rep Now I'm gonna start playing some gameplay of me just going crazy in the background while I basically tell y'all what y'all want to focus on while you're Gaining rep while you're trying to get rep. All right, so let me go ahead and put that on now now look number one You're going to want to focus on your teammate grade You want to have a good teammate grade always so you need to focus on things that are good for your build Like if you have a lot of defense, you're gonna want steals rebounds blocks okay if you have a lot of playmaking obviously assists if you shoot a lot shooting stats are good you need to be shooting high efficiency finishing i mean i know a lot of people don't really have that much finishing on their build but for centers you want to hit slips a lot you know what i'm saying just just have an overall good efficient teammate grade that way you can get the most rep amount as possible you want to get your teammate grade as high as possible that is one of the most important things on this game for rep is teammate grade all right now the next thing is um is exactly what you do now you can have a high teammate grade but if you don't have a lot of stats you're not going to get that much rep now the games that i've noticed where i've even gotten 0.6 and i've had a minuses or i've had b plus and i've still got an eight i've still got 0.6 rep when you're I'm supposed to, supposedly supposed to get 0.4 to 0.5 even 0.3 is from the games where i had a lot of blocks a lot of steals a lot of rebounds just doing everything all right so that's what you need to be focused on is trying to do everything that you can for your team to win i you need to do everything you can you need to stuff the stat sheet that's my biggest advice for you stuff the stat sheet now obviously don't play crazy don't be reaching like crazy don't get a bunch of defensive breakdowns trying to get steals and stuff just play natural but you want to focus on having a high teammate grade filling the stat sheet and being efficient all right, if you do that you should fly up and rep it should be super easy okay and also if you're going to actually try to sit here and hawk rep 
crap. I understand people can't play this game 10 hours a day. I played this game, I'm not gonna lie. There's been times, there's been days I played this game an hour a day. There's been times I played the game five hours a day. There's been times I played 10 hours straight. Like Double H, he did a stream for 16 hours and I was playing with him for like 10 hours from like 1 a.m. all the way until noon until the football game started on Sunday. I was playing. Um, and I was grinding and I hawked like 50% of one singular bar by literally sitting there hawking in the theater. So if you're going to be wanting to play, um, you're going to be wanting to grind, you're going to want to catch up and rep, you're going to want to get a lot of rep fast. Because what I always recommend is get rep when it's most fun. And it's always most fun at the beginning of the year. So if you can get a lot of rep out of the way at the beginning of the year, that leaves it that leaves you for a lot more room to you know mess around later in the year when you don't have to grind as hard be whenever it's also less fun to play because i mean that's just how it is any 2k the more you play it as we get into like january february march april it gets less and less fun to play especially like whenever you get into july august when the new 2k is about to come out it just gets more and more dead that's just how it is i mean this is the, the effect of a lifespan on a game Okay, so play it whenever you have, you know, the most fun, okay, and play with people that are good, that way you can end games fast, so the most important things are ending games fast, having a high teammate grade, and just grinding, okay, that's it, just grinding, there's gonna be no rep glitch, that's just gonna make you fly up and rep, you're gonna have to grind, you're gonna have to be efficient with your grind, don't play a bunch of games on single rep, don't play a bunch of games with a lockdown, build on double rep, getting no rep, okay, you wanna focus on the ways that are gonna make you rep up faster if you really, really care, all right? So that's it, boys, that's it for this video, drop a like if you have any questions, comment them, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, click one of the videos at the top of the screen, hit that subscribe button in the middle, and I'll see y'all boys like i said comment if you're new sub so i can say thank you and i will see y'all boys in the next one